Welcome to my garage. So this today, whatever, this week, whatever, I try to do it every week, but it's a little interesting to do. We are going to reviewing a Porter Cable product. I don't have very many Porter Cable products. I have I think I have this and a jigsaw. Yeah. So I am not affiliated with anybody. Uh, no one's paid me to do any of this. This is just my own opinions on a tool. So let's dive in. So we are looking at an oscillating saw. So this is the PCE 605 Type 2. And I bought this three years ago. Yeah, because this was a replacement for I had a cordless unit that I bought from Canadian Tire, which is uh, a brand that we have in Canada and they make their own tools. It was a cordless unit and from what I remember, it cut okay. It didn't have a lot of power, but the battery sucked. I would go through one door frame and just So I wanted a cordless unit. This was a good price. So I bought it. So it's a decent weight unit. Uh, it's three amps. Yeah, it's three amps, so it's typical of everybody else. Everybody else, I think, is like 2.8 or 3 or 3.2. Uh, so this is equivalent, and it's probably, I'd say, 30 or 40 bucks cheaper than everybody else. So I paid $100 Canadian for this at Lowe's, and I think a DeWalt equivalent to this was 130 or 140. So these tools are awesome. This one came with a guide. So it helps you not go too far in. Uh, came with a little sander, hence all the sanding pads over here. So it comes with a little sander, which I have never used yet. I don't do that much detail sanding. But it's nice to have in case I do some little sand. Uh, came with this big sucker, which it's very fine too, so it takes forever and it doesn't last very long. It came with a scraper, which I have never used, but I'm sure it works all right. And you can easily resharpen this. Not very, pretty bendy. Uh, what I did buy, and I will try to find the link of these. I bought a 10 pack. These things are bloody expensive. You go to Lowe's or Home Depot or anything like that and something around this size will cost you 30 bucks for two of them. So for 30, I think it's 30 bucks. Don't quote me on it. I think it's 30 bucks and I got 10 of these and it's a little wider and it's a little more aggressive tooth than what this one is. Well, this one's pretty much toast. I burnt the crap out of it. And I've used this one for, I'd say, probably a good two dozen doors. And the purpose of this is you put it in. If it'll go in today, there we go. You put it in like so. And what it'll do, it'll oscillate back and forth. And this is for like doors. So for instance, give me a sec. Here we go. So say this is a door frame and you're laying tile. Well, the proper thing is to put the tile underneath the door so it doesn't look stupid. So you use this tool and you cut a little bit higher than what your tile thickness is and you cut all this out. That's the purpose of this. I love it. It's a little on the loud side, but most tools are, so I wear ear protection anyways. So, that's the main purpose for this. It's an oscillating tool. You can use it for different other things, but I mainly use it for undercutting doors, for when you do laminate or hardwood or tile or even carpet. You can just undercut a little bit and they can shove the carpet underneath it and it makes a nice clean look. I've liked the tool. It's got uh, variable speed on the back 
I pretty much leave it at six just because. This thing, you can put it at different, so say you have a right hand thing, you can put it like this. So it'll go this way back and forth and you can undercut some if you have limited space here. So yeah, I love this thing. I will give this a good thumb, two thumbs up, maybe a thumb, a couple fingers. Uh, I came with all these disc pads. Um, I'm just gonna put this in my sanding kit because it's just taking up way too much room. Comes with a case for 100 bucks, Canadian. So I like it. It's uh, served its purpose. I've had it for a couple years and I've never had an issue with it. So that's it. it it's it does what it does and I like it. Uh, most of my tools, if I still have them, that means I like them. So hopefully next I might do either my miter or my table saw. Um, not getting into the break yet, just because it's sitting on the wall and in order to do that, I gotta take it off the wall and that's 70 or 80 pounds off the wall. So we're not doing that yet, but it's coming. Uh, if you guys want a different tool review or if, I don't know, I'll keep making up stuff as far as tool reviews and if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, if, you, uh, if you have a question, pop comment in the bottom and if you want to keep uh, seeing these videos, uh, hit the subscribe. And that's it. Porter Cable, that's a good tool. It's Decent price. It works with all these uh, universal ones. So we're good. Until next time, guys. See ya.